Everybody and welcome back to my channel. Now, you know on this channel that I'm not a Transformers collector. I'm just, I'm just not into it. I've seen a cartoon or two here. I've seen a movie or two, but you know, if I went to a thrift store and I saw a generation one Optimus Prime or Megatron for like 20 or 30 bucks, you know, obviously I'm gonna snag that instantly. It's Transformers and I, we've never really meshed. We've never really clicked. That is until now. The Turtle Wagon, Kit from Knight Rider, the Mutt Cuts Van, all iconic cars. Wanna hear the most annoying sound in the world? <laughs> well, how about the DeLorean? Da, 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 da. This is the Transformers and Back to the Future mashup Transformer, where the DeLorean turns into an Autobot named Gigawatt. I had no idea that they did these Transformers mashups in the past. Um, they did the Ecto-1 vehicle from uh, Ghostbusters. They even did a freaking Top Gun Transformer. Uh, yeah, yes, please. I feel the need, the need for speed. Now, these are some Transformers I can actually get behind. I find these very, very unique, and I think they're a really interesting concept. And um, in the comments down below, let me know if there's any Transformers fans out there. And also to those Transformers fans, please let me know what your favorite movie is from the Transformers line of films. So let us begin with a pixie at the outside packaging first, but uh, first and foremost, a big thank you to Zavi. Whoa! A big thank you to Zavi for sending this guy over for me to review with you all. And I will leave links in my description down below if you're interested in getting a little more intel on this guy. I don't know why I'm doing this. It looks like the old G1 or Generation 1 Transformer style of boxes from the 80s that the original Transformers came in, which is really neat. The Transformers Heroic Autobot. More than meets the eye. But of course we do have some Back to the Future elements like the DeLorean up here with a 35th year anniversary uh, text to celebrate 35 years of Back to the Future. And on the top portion right here, it looks like we have some kind of very vague transformation steps, one, two, three, and four. I hope it's that it's that easy and it's not that complicated. A very, very long time ago, my little brother had a transformer and I was helping him transform it, you know, from a vehicle to uh, a robot and I, there was no instructions. I was getting super frustrated and I ended up just like breaking it. <laughs> so, so maybe I can redeem myself and not break this one. We have the old Hasbro logo down here, which I believe was used between the late seventies and the early nineties, I believe. And of course on the front here, we have Gigawatt and there he is right here. What an, what an awesomely epic name for a Transformer, Gigawatt. He just has such a cool design to him. And I really like that flux capacitor, how it's like on his chest right here. So it's like, you know, his his core power source right on his chest. So in order to time travel, the DeLorean had to be going a speed of 88 miles per hour and also needed, you know, like a power supply of 1.21 gigawatts. You probably remember Doc Brown from Back to the Future. And he was like, 1.21 gigawatts, gigawatts, gigawatts. He was always like, you know, screaming gigawatts. And so, you know, when I was watching that, I was always like, doesn't he mean gigawatt? You know, what's a gigawatt? So that core word giga, you know, in gigawatt, it actually comes from the word gigas, meaning giant in, you know, ancient Greek and Latin. And I believe it's pronounced, you know, gigas with that J sound, meaning big, large, giant. It was later on used to describe a large quantity. So in this case, um, a billion, you know, a gigawatt is actually a unit of electric power um, equal to 1 billion watts. So that's where kind of, gigawatt or gigawatt came from. And what's funny is if, if you actually go to the Merriam-Webster dictionary online and you go to gigawatt, you can actually see that there's two pronunciations that are valid. One of them is gigawatt and the other one, if you press it, it's gigawatt. Gigawatt, 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 gigawatt. So I know, mind blown, but we're getting off tangent. So let's Let's get back to this. So on the side here, we can see Gigawatt or Gigawatt in his vehicle mode and also in his robot mode. And on the other side, we see a picture of the back of the DeLorean and on the back of the package here, um, we have a little statistics cutout card like the original Transformers packaging had. So it says here, function, time traveler. You're never out of time when you're a time machine. 
When Marty and Doc Brown need a ride through time, Gigawatt is ready to fly. And on the bottom of the package, we have the authentic Transformers seal on the bottom. So let us open this gigolo up. So on the tab here, we have 1.21 gigawatts. I mean, gigawatts. I mean, oh, whatever. <laughs> as the amount of power required for the DeLorean, as well as a flex capacitor symbol. The flex capacitor was a special mechanism by which the DeLorean was able to time travel. And let's take a look at that insert. We have some nice sort of blue printy drawings of the DeLorean. And we also have some instructions here as well. Thank God. Um, but I do really like the look of these instructions. Uh, they're super, super retro looking. Hopefully this isn't too complicated. So there's that lightning rod accessory. In the movie, this was used as a conductor to kind of siphon lightning into the DeLorean to give it, you know, a power boost. The rod is very bendy um, and it can actually fit into the DeLorean right here into this little hole and you can actually swivel it kind of wherever you like. Ooh, okay, now let's take a look at our car here. Uh, it's approximately five inches long, it looks like. And look, they even have that grainy kind of scratchy effect from the look of stainless steel uh, because the body of the DeLorean is stainless steel. So, wow, that's a really neat touch. I like that. I like that a lot. You like it? Um, the windows are completely tinted on the sides here and uh, you can slightly see a little bit in the front and it looks just like some bits and bobs for a transformer to transform properly maybe. Ah, okay, I thought I was missing something on the front here and it's actually the DMC logo on the grill. I almost didn't even notice that. Um, but maybe uh, it was not included due to maybe, I don't know, legal reasons, or maybe that the grill is like a crucial spot on the transformer and they didn't want a logo on it perhaps. And look at all this wiring. Like there's so many little details on here. Uh, like such little tiny features everywhere, but just because they're small, you know, it doesn't mean that they suffer from a lack of detail, which is really neat to see on this. And here are the wheels and our hubcaps, little hubcap detail there, little deets on there. And um, they spin too, so this guy can go, Whee! And wait, do these, oh my God, these doors actually open. <laughs> That's so awesome. Oh, look, you can like, kind of see in here. Oh, what's in here? What's in here? And let's take a look at all that tech in the back there. You know, there's all sorts of wires and colored bits. And I like how the colored things really pop against the kind of, you know, gray stainless steel color of the DeLorean. Um, but really nice sculpting in the back here. And of course we have our little Mr. Fusion accessory, the home energy reactor. And this guy is like I said, an accessory and he can come on and off. Mr. Fusion was able to use household garbage to power the time machine's flux capacitor using nuclear fusion to reach that 1.21 gigawatts mark. Mr. Fusion allowed Doc to use this to power the DeLorean instead of the plutonium that the first model required. So because that Mr. Fusion is there, it's like the second version of the DeLorean kind of, you know, with the hover features. So you can even tuck these wheels underneath you know, to make it a true hover car. Or of course you can just take off the Mr. Fusion and put the wheels back and it's like the original DeLorean design. And flipping him around, Wah! Oh my God, that's scary. He's like, oh, hello, don't mind me. <laughs> it's like jealous boyfriend DeLorean. He's like, where are you going? And we see the flex capacitor is right here, but uh, if you remember on the picture, it will end up being, you know, right on his chest. This is his gun tucked away up here, which is pretty nifty. Little nifty little storage space for it. So let me try to redeem myself by not breaking this transformer in this little transformer montage. handsome fella he turned out to be. And when he's all dolled up and ready for the ball, he's about, eh, he's about five inches tall. Here is his head that can swivel and kind of move side to side. And I really like those blue eyes. They really pop, they really pop. And he's got this, whew, he's got this big intimidating chest, which has his flux capacitor energy core here, as well as the control panel um, that you can plug in your dates. And if you see her, it's kind of all the times um, that Marty and Doc have visited, you know, all the time periods. And I think that's a really neat touch. I don't really remember seeing that scratch there before. Uh, I, I think that was on me. I think when I was transforming him, 
I might have scratched some paint off. And here are his arms. They can go, you know, spin around, move up and down. And we have lots of articulation around here going. Um, but we got no articulation in the wrists. And we can also snap a few of his accessories into his um, into his arms here. So we can put his gun in here or uh, that lightning conductor rod as well. You can even take that Mr. Fusion. It can actually kind of, you know, put it onto the gun, which is pretty cool. So it's like a fusion gun. We have some articulation in the waist. Um, and on the shins here, we have some sort of flex capacitor symbols. Uh, we got some leg articulation, kind of move up and down here a bit. And here is a view from the back. So all in all, this is a really cool figure. And I find myself trying to kind of grasp at straws to find something to critique because a, it's like a really cool looking figure and B, I'm also not really a Transformers expert. So I kind of can't really think of too many critiques on this guy, but maybe, you know, because I like this guy so much, maybe instead of, you know, like, you know, five inches like this, maybe like, huh? like maybe that would have been a little better. I don't know. Also, I would maybe say that flux capacitor, I think they could have like pizzazz popped it, like maybe almost make it look like glow in the darky or like kind of um like, like it's electrified or something. So maybe like some accents of like some kind of um electricity so in the comments down below, I'd love to know what you all think of this figure and to all you Transformers fans specifically, what do you guys think of this figure? You know, you guys are the experts, not me. So I'd like to know what you guys actually think of this guy. And um, also in the comments down below, can you guys think of any other um, popular vehicles from franchises that would be perfect candidates, you know, for this Transformers mashup line? So please remember to like, comment, and subscribe. I come out with new videos every week. Come check me out on social media and help support the channel on Patreon. So thank you all so much for watching and stay legendary. Oh.